Welcome to the latest Newman Motor at record speed. I've had it at most 165 RPM with around 300 volts. Right now this is the current. 0.01 to 0.07 or 0.08 down back to 0.01 and then sometimes a 0.07 down to uh, goes up and down. The ampere meter that I got at Home Depot doesn't have the range I want. Recently I found um, an amp meter at Walmart that has the range I want but the problem is I bought something online um, a multimeter which has a bigger display which is for only milliamps up to 10 milliamps but I don't have that shipped in yet because they didn't have it in stock and it's still taking a week or two to get in but once I have that I will show a video of this motor with that analog amp meter attached now this is not 165 RPM it's less than that uh, when I said 165 RPM that's when I bypassed both this coil up here most of it actually and most of this down here but right now I'm only bypassing this part which is closest to the shaft compared down to here because the shaft is at the level of this second uh, tier of uh, supports. The supports are the same plastic that I have for these batteries but I long had these supports to support the coils on top. I bypass this coil here which reduces the back EMF that I don't want because when you have too much back EMF what you do is generate more current which slows down the, more, the motor and according to Newton's no not Newton's Newman's uh, theory Joseph Wesley Newman's theory that uh, if you have too much current going through the coil that will de-align the atoms which he claims is the source of this energy. He claims there is a mass to energy conversion process. If you look at my profile on YouTube I have a different view of this. I do not believe it involves mass to conversion into energy. It's simply a receiver for energy but I think alignment of atoms is still involved in this process now let's see again we draw this many amps and this is the hundredths position so this is not one amps or three amps or six amps or whatever these are in one hundredths of an amp so anywhere from 0.09 0.01 etc. Now the thing here is this is uh, the current for the coil going through and it's higher than in my previous videos. The thing though is when it's when you have the induction over here reduced this area will actually have less induced voltage. This area will um, it won't be overheated. So the overall heat induced by this motor for a given RPM is it as much. This is how we get the fan to go faster. Now we're gonna go ahead and set that back. I'm gonna pull this out. Do 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 alright. This is the magnet. It's basically been the same size for many months now. And so now we basically have four and a third coils, whereas in the previous video we had five. I want to add a sixth coil in the future, but I want that to be a full coil and I want it to be a fresh one. And I, once I go to Altex, they might have it in stock, but I've been there the last two times and they didn't have the full coil I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and measure the voltage and given enough time and charge in my camera I'll be able to measure the resistance as well now better way to do this is to connect it directly okay 
This is 285 volts. And that's our input voltage just after the load is shut off. Now this voltage will go back up slowly over time, but that's not the on load voltage. Once I put the load on again, the voltage will go down again. And over time, over the hours, this voltage under load will be lower and lower and lower, and so will the voltage off load. And then the batteries will be depleted. I run this Newman machine as a motor and not a generator for practical reasons. I will, I will, it's easier to demonstrate the mechanical output than the electrical input, and given the nature of videos and their inability to uh, provide as meaningful evidence, I prefer the mechanical demonstration. So, okay, now it shows up to 286 volts. Now, slowly this rises. Now, I'll disconnect this, and instead of connecting this across the battery pack, I'm going to connect this thing across the coil. Now, the way I'll do this is I'll connect this to here. Okay. And again. Connect that across here. Now because I'm not using all of the coils, what I have right now is 1,000, well, I have to give this some time to slow down. 1,037 ohms. And we had not even 300 volts. With not even 300 volts, we had anywhere between 0 0.0 amps to 0 0.09 amps okay